This is a wonderful, phenomenal day and today I would love to talk about wisdom because wisdom is something that we would all absolutely love to have in order to have a more wonderful life, a healthy life, a life full of wonderful relations, a life that is easy, that is joyful, that is absolutely happy. And actually in the Bible it is said that we need to search and to look for wisdom as we're looking for gold and silver because it is much more valuable but then if we're thinking about wisdom what it is well actually we'll observe that it is living our life in coherence with the wonderful laws of our wonderful creator right and then the question is why very often we're paying a lot in order to accumulate wisdom while we're doing so much to find it, to search for it, we're looking for maybe watching many, many hours, different gurus, different teachers that are talking about wisdom and so on. So why are we kind of gathering, but then we don't observe it in our lives? Why when we want to act, we are acting in a stupid way where something just happens? Well, my thought about it is that, you know, here we can truly see the difference between the conscious and the subconscious mind because the conscious mind is the mind where we kind of accumulate information we understand everything we kind of want to act with the conscious mind but the conscious mind only influences three percent of our results so if the information is stuck only at the conscious level then we can only influence three percent of our behavior with this information, with this kind of wisdom. But the subconscious mind influences 97% of all our results in life. So if we manage to send the information from the conscious level to the subconscious level, that information will start working. So this is the reason why sometimes we kind of know everything, but then we get into the situation and we are behaving in such a strange manner because that information didn't get to the deeper levels of our subconscious mind. Well, and there are different techniques to get into the subconscious mind and the, the school where I'm working with, the subconscious mind, we are working into sending this information at the deeper level. But one of the technique is writing with our weak hand. So that would be writing some affirmations with our left hand. Now, when writing with the left hand to send the wisdom words, the information that we want to work in us, in our life as a result, then if we want to do it with the left hand, we must be very careful what we are writing, what we are affirming, because what it could do, it could program something wrong. So the affirmation must be written very correctly. And the writing with the left hand is not that we'll write one time and yes, we've activated it at the level of the subconscious mind. No, we'll be doing it repeatedly again and again every day for a longer period of time and then it will get programmed in the subconscious mind. So if we look at our past, how did it work in the past? We'll think about the example, for example, when we were kids babies and we were learning to eat with a spoon or a fork you know at the beginning it was conscious because we really wanted to get the spoon in the mouth and at the beginning we yeah we made some uh, some some mistakes and we could not get inside the moon we'll get mouth, mouth sorry i'm talking a little bit danish here we we'll get around right but after doing it again and again and again, it got from the conscious level to the subconscious level and we could get inside the mouth. And the same thing we observed while learning to drive a car at the beginning, maybe, you know, it took us several months to get the information from the conscious level to the subconscious level. So this exactly same thing is with wisdom. That's why if there are people that are not working with the subconscious, then they are people like wonderful professors that know many things, are very intelligent, but when looking at their lives, what do we see? We see 
divorce, we see bad relationships, we see maybe bad were problems at work and so on. So this is the difference between having the information on the conscious level and having the information on the subconscious level. And the true wisdom is when we finally can send this to the subconscious. And unfortunately, I do not know any other way to become wise other than work with the subconscious and get inside and get that wonderful affirmations, that wonderful programs in the subconscious and removing some mental blocks and removing some things that are making us behaving in a strange, in a very, very strange way. Remove that from the subconscious. So cleaning up the subconscious, that will bring, bring us the true and beautiful wisdom that we are looking for. Well, these were the thoughts for today. I'm looking forward to see you tomorrow and I wish you a phenomenal, phenomenal day. Bye.